What's going on everybody? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to check to see if your alternator is bad. Um, this happens to be a 2004 Honda Civic. It's going to be kind of the same steps basically for every vehicle though. So if your battery is dead, either because the battery is bad or if the alternator wasn't charging and it killed the battery, you're going to have to charge the battery up or put a different battery in or get a new battery something um, for the time being at least because you need to be able to run the car to do this test. Um, in this case, the battery light has been on for a while, so I know it's just under charging a little bit. So we're gonna start by popping the hood. Um, I've already popped it inside the car. Okay, so the easiest way to check generally is to just check it at the battery. Unless your battery is under the rear seat or buried in the trunk, like on Bonnevilles and newer cars. Um, but typically, checking the battery is going to be easier than the alternator. Now, it's not as accurate of a reading, but it'll give us an idea. So, a good battery, just a static battery that's fully charged, you know, vehicle not running, there's no draw on it, um, should be in like the 12.5 to 12.8 volt range. Um, so your, a good alternator is gonna put out at over 13 volts. If you have an alternator putting out less than 13, it's undercharging. Even if it's putting out 12 and a half, which is what the battery is at, that's considered a bad alternator. It should be putting out more than battery voltage. So what I'm gonna do, you're gonna need to get a voltmeter like this. You can get them for 10 bucks or even cheaper at the hardware store. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. You just need to flip it to volts. DC, that means direct current, that's what we want. So we're gonna take the ground lead, put it on the ground post, and the positive on the positive post. Make sure, you know, if you gotta scratch it a little bit, if you got some corrosion built up, um, you know, so we're at 11.8. This battery is insufficiently charged because the alternator has not been keeping up. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the car and see what it's at with it running. So again, right now, we're at 11.82. All right, so as you can see, the car is running now. And we're actually at 10.94 and slowly going down. So the alternators, you know, if it's going down still, that means the alternator's not even putting out 10.9. So it's charging less than that. It's junk. Um, what we're gonna do to verify that is we're gonna check at the actual alternator itself just to make sure we don't have any connection issues between the battery and the alternator. Because there's other accessories in line. Uh, you, your starter might be in line. So we wanna make sure that the alternator is for sure bad before changing it. So if you look down here, I know it's hard to tell if it's dark, but there's kind of a rubber boot here over the power stud on the alternator. Sometimes they're black, sometimes they're red. I've just kind of lifted the boot off and exposed the nut, the power stud right there. So we're going to be very careful, obviously the engine's running, we don't want to get our hands or tools caught in the belt or any of the pulleys. We're going to take and put our positive probe on that charging post. And then you can put your uh, ground post basically on anything metal on the engine that's a good ground. Uh, I like to try to ground it out on the alternator case. So just touch it to the metal part of the alternator itself. All right, so I got my lead on the positive post and then just touching the aluminum case for the ground. And we're still at 10.7. So that's directly at the alternator. Alternator is junk. Uh, really the only other thing that it could be is you'll notice there's an electrical connector, this green one down there. Uh, kind of hard to see right here. That connector down there um, is what's called your fielding wires. And what those do is uh, that's what commands how much the alternator puts out. So we're going to go ahead and replace this one. But I just wanted to show how to test it. Again, 
any alternator you're going to check it the same way whether it's in a truck or whatnot this one's kind of hard to get at but um, just check the voltage and if it's putting out less than 13 uh, you need to replace the alternator so uh, hopefully this video helped you out if it did make sure you hit that like button subscribe for more videos like this and check me out on facebook at tony the truck guy thanks for watching